What's up traders? Welcome to my stream. Currently I traded a, a couple of stickers today. I'd like to discuss them. Uh, so far, that's my uh, P&L. Realized, unrealized tickets, uh, buy, timestamp, and uh, you know, all the all the good stuff. So so far, my first trade of the day was um, I don't know. Hold on, I have to scroll down. So I have to scroll down. So uh, it's, it's over. It's over down here anyway. So uh, the the biggest one. I have to scroll down. It's on my other computer. Anyway, so the short one it was over here. Uh, I saw the stock basing uh, over in the 13 range over here and over here. It was gapping up. Uh, AMLX it was gapping up. I don't know how many uh, percentage points. Uh, I looked at it at the news uh, time frame. Uh, use historical data. 0, 9, uh, 20, 25, 9 a.m. So, uh, so this was the top gainer. AMLX 29 million flow, 6 million in volume. So this stock was not rotated. Insider owned 43%. The news was um, the news was weak. Uh, MLI share jumped 23% after eight FDA extension, which to me was not a significant type of news. So I pretty much watched it. I didn't trade it during this range. I should have traded during this range. It's not a it's not in my computer. And uh, I saw it basing at around 13, 13, 13. I got it at around 13 over here, 13 on this flush here. And uh, I covered most of my shares uh, probably around here at 13.67 just now. I don't know, right over here, 13.65, 1367. And uh, that was on 1,000 shares, so that was the, the most of my day. Uh, I pretty much got in. As soon as it broke this uh, support line of 13, and uh, I looked at the daily, and um, it had this huge resistance over here. This is the resistance line over here. That's the resistance that uh, we're playing off it, and uh, it hit some resistance over here. I think 14 was based on this high here. You can see how 14.55 pretty much uh, didn't hit. And I uh, was just chopping around most of the day, and um, that was the that was the trade. I shorted it, and uh, I, I VWAP was my risk, 20 cents a risk, and uh, it pretty much ended up uh, fading most of the day. And I covered over here for a buck uh, 40 in profits, and I'm not sure I was potential reshort and I gapped out on Monday. Um, my next trade was SOPA. I'm going to start with my loss. Uh, SOPA was up today. I was looking at it. Uh, what is the float and uh, pre market? Let me see the pre market. SOPA over here. SOPA was up 15 million float, uh, 8 million in volume, uh, insiders, institutions. So I was looking at it and, uh, you know, I. I, I was looking at the news. The news was acquisition. Um, so they bought Gorilla Networks. So to me, that was a long. Uh, on the daily, it had resistance over here. It had this candle here and this resistance here. So supposedly it got into resistance. I thought it got... it got. I didn't even see this resistance here, to tell you the truth. I thought it was a clean chart, to tell you the truth. But obviously it was not. Uh, so the, definitely this resistance on the daily played a significant part despite the fact that the news was good. Acquiring another company is good news for any company that changes the fundamental structure of the company. So I pretty much um, didn't trade it correctly. I didn't even look at this trend whatsoever. What I thought was, you know, I looked at the news and I was like, okay, it's an acquisition. That's a good news. And then I try to buy it around here. As soon as it broke 260, I thought it's just gonna break 260, and then uh, I got stopped out at 250. Uh, so I lost 10 cents on 2,000 shares, and then I bought it again at 255. You know, wanting to retest. Uh, basically, what happened here? I think uh, I got overexcited about the news. The news was an acquisition, but due to the daily, it had resistance on a daily of 80 million, and this came in pat in in uh, in play. 
and it was an unsuccessful high of the day break of 260 and it pretty much flopped after it broke this support trend line over here it's pretty much flopped it could have been a short uh, but I didn't take it short and I just pretty much uh, took a loss two losses on it so that was the loss of the day my other my other stock that I could have taken along was Husa Husa broke the days the days uh, before high which was 455 there and um, at 455 it would have been a good long I didn't watch it at 455 I pretty much uh, chased it around five uh, I chased it at five went up to 520 uh, didn't uh, didn't take profits it had it, it had this flush candle as soon as it broke five I sold it into this flush candle at four um, 488 so I made no money on that and uh, that was a bummer because uh, you know at one point I had Husa at four at, at five and it went to 520 so I had a 20 cent profit that I sold it for flat uh, the next trade is um, the one that I should have made a little bit more money than I should uh, this is EFOI EFOI uh, was uh, pretty much pretty much yeah uh, you can see here that the daily doesn't doesn't have that much resistance so today's volume was definitely higher than this day's volume so I was thinking if I buy the high of the day break is gonna you know it's gonna put all these back holders in the green and um, the the area that I did buy it on 150 was uh, about here this is the area that I did buy it at 150 uh, uh, EFOI by 150 150 it was around 1030 uh, so so it was around this range here 1030 area and it's kind of it was flopping around a bit over here and then it got going and then I sold it at 160 for 10 cent gain and then it came back down and by the time I pretty much made a new coffee, uh, this thing was all the way in the 180s. So I left another 20 cents on the table for this stock. And uh, that's just the way it goes. You can see here that this daily over here was much lower than uh, today's daily. So all these back holders are in the green. Uh, I, I really like trading floats underneath. Uh, you can see here the gainers. EFOI is... Uh, is uh you know it's a six million float and it's heavily rotated i think that's the thing i told the chat i think i told the chat that efoi traded uh four times the float so it's the high probability of squeezing you can see here that it has a five million float and the volume was 47 million at the time it was trading four times the float so it was a 20 million so from 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 this range to this range there was another 20 million that got put into the stock so that's 20 million times a buck 20 that's 30 million dollars that moved up and down in exchange hands between 150 and 180 so i pretty much did good on this one i was not um i think i think um my uh, i think i sopa i thought this acquisition news would pretty much did do a little bit better than it actually did uh my sopa trades was pretty much terrible if you if I were gonna look at SOPA it's over here somewhere and I have to scroll down so uh, so uh, what my SOPA trades were pretty terrible I would have to say I didn't take in consideration the daily resistance of 80 million on the daily here despite the fact that the news was good of acquiring another company and I thought acquiring another company that would be a pretty good uh, pretty good runner and SOPA is uh, you know a 15 million float that's a huge float even though it's so we're gonna we're gonna start looking for floats underneath 4 million and try or, or 10 million if you go into the 15 million they don't even stand a chance people don't want to trade stocks 15 million and you just don't get any type of activity yeah for why today did good because of the high relative volume about 487 times so 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 the flow was five million so it rotated about you know ten times now so that's why EFOI did good if you look at SOPA it's a 15 million volume rotated only two times so EFOI definitely uh, you know a stock that I could have made a little bit more and held my winners longer or I buy the dip or rebuy the breakout but um, nevertheless I had the right idea in mind and uh, you know you can see here how beautiful this trend line formed here and then it got overextended and now it kind of sold off. So 
Um, I'm just going to walk, I think. I'm still going to do a scan for OTCs on Friday to see which stocks have the potential to be running on uh, Monday. Uh, so far, it's been a two-hour uh, day to, to trade today. And um, that's about it. I'm going to try to make uh, videos of all my trades and how I, 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 I plan my trades. and try to finish green each day. And then come in each day and tell you what I did wrong and why I did it right and so forth. Anyway, all these trade ideas are put into my live chat. Um, as well as I try to stream and talk about them as I do them. And I try to trade on my laptop while I stream. I also try to do a uh, watch list of OTC stocks. Uh, I don't have that many watch lists for... For small caps, small caps uh, are very volatile and very unpredictable, and I can't watch them. There's not much to watch to them because it's, you know, but the OTC stocks, I, I watch them on the regular basis. So we're going to try to to uh, move forward. Uh, this is kind of like the, the direction I'm going to put things today. Uh, I'm going to try to take a screenshot of my, you know, my uh, trading account. Uh, after each day and discuss to you my my train of thought and um, you know try to improve because you know I should have not taken a SOPA trade if I would not have taken the SOPA trade I would have been up uh, you know more money more money so you can see here SOPA over here SOPA buy 255 sell 240 if I look over here SOPA buy uh, 260 and sell 250 so that's you know, all this SOPA kind of activity put me down on the day. And, uh, you know, I could have uh, not traded it. Not traded it. Um, despite the fact that it had a news of acquisition. The volume was obviously not there. And the float was obviously pretty high. And I should have not traded it. And not traded it. And uh, sometimes I just trade it. And uh, it uh, takes half my... Uh, has have take it took away my EFY gain. You can see EFY gain made a pretty good chunk on it, and uh, you know made some pusa somewhat it took away my EFY gain. So that's um, that's about it. You guys have a good one. See you guys in the chat room. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and join us in the live chat room, uh, live streaming and. Uh, me talking uh, each and every day uh, in the morning and uh, putting my battle plan together. Have a good one. Peace and have a great weekend.